hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and i'm so sorry about um all this one i've not been sending videos here just that i've been so busy now today let's just make um, a small bucket bag i'll just make a small bucket bag there are different ways you can in which you can do this you can fix the bottom separately we'll be fixing this bottom now separately there are ones that you can cut all together so depends on the one depends on the pictures you have with you but today let's just do this you can fix in a round a round them um, bottom you can see like this one now is a round bottom i use velvet for this so now what's on your leather what you'll be cutting first is the long strap on the long strap i cut on the, on the material i cut um one as a long strap one by the whole length of your leather the next thing is the string because that's him um, the bucket bag comes with um, a string that i'm using as a closure so now the string whatever you cut here whatever your width the width of the bag is that's what I mean with is the um, is the I mean the breadth whatever you use for the width you times it by two that's you multiply it by two then you can give allowance of maybe six inches or um, probably four to six inches anyway so now the measurement I will be using today is a small bucket bag the measurement I will be using is um the width from here to here is 12 then from here to here is 9 this is a small one if you want to try your own if it is you can just try this with a, 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 a cardboard and if it's small you can just add whatever you want to hit then I'm making this one now is just for a tassel you can do 4 by 3 4 by 4 depends on how how big you want the tassel and how fat you want it but since this one is just a, 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 a it's just for a practical that's why i just cut this then now let me tell you how to get your bottom the bottom of the bag i will show you how i came about it now what i will be doing is you know i told you the width whatever when you want to measure a bottom the bottom of your bag what you need here is just the bottom and I said, and I said, the bottom, um, the width is twenty, um, is twelve. Then you times twelve, you multiply twelve times two, you, which is twenty-four. You'll be getting twenty-four. Now twenty-four. If you now want to know what whatever your um, the bottom is, you determine what this side, what you want for this side. For me, if I'm making a small bag, I can do four downwards. That's four, three, two, and half. But normally I do use um, about three to four. But if this bag is bigger than this, I can do four, five. For a traveling bag, I do six and um, six, seven, nine, ten. Depends on how big it is. So now the first thing, when you have this from here to here, I said is twenty-four. That's the whole width. Twelve here. Then for this one, twelve. By the time you couple the two together, you have twenty-four. Then you determine whatever you want this one. You can do three, like I said. You can do three, you can do four, but this is four. So now what you will now do is this four that you have that you 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 want to label this side now, you times it by two. By the time you times um four times two, you have eight. That eight you must you subtract it out of twenty-four. Listen, let's say this place now. I, I want to use this side to be I want it to be four. You know this side is four. This side, is, this side is four, which is eight. Eight. You subtract that eight out of this one, which is twenty-four. Then you will get um, eight minus twenty-four minus eight. I think you'll be getting. So when you say okay, let's say this is fourteen. Uh, sorry, four. From here to here is four. From here to here, that is eight. You minus that eight out of the twenty-four you have there. You have um, the remaining is sixteen. Then you divide that sixteen into two. That's um, eight. 
so when you want to cut the bottom now you just cut eight by four this side is four why this place is um this side is four why this side is eight so you cut then when you are through cutting when when you are done cutting now we will be using um i'll be using my my manual machine to sew this which is the flat <coughs> the flat bed now let's sew so now you sew this is the right side this is the right side you sew it together okay before you do that because the handle is going to be attached to to the So this is the handle holder. That's the strap, the long strap holder. You are going to be inserting it to it. So now I'm going to fold this. This is the right side. You are putting the right side facing each other. So now I'll just So from here to here, you measure about um, one inch. That's where the strap holder, where you put um, the strap holder. That's where it starts. That's where you start the strap holder. So I'm going to sew it together with it. I'll make sure you reverse so that it won't cut immediately. this side too. I'll keep this aside. Let me just run a thread on on the on the strap and the string. That's this strap, the long strap and the string. So, so as you can see, I'm done. Okay. Now I'm done um, sewing this. This is the string. This is the um. The long strap now this is the the bottom I'm going to notch this part now then to know if I'm on the surface if it's going to you can see so now I'll just do I, I, I did allowance because of this thing. I want to put this cup here. Sometimes it's a little bag. If it's another shape, my shape actually. I'll just try and because I think to my own I had an allowance because of this same um, 
this shaping that I want to give it. I have, instead of cutting it by four, I did um, eight by um, four, sorry four by nine. Nine by instead of that is I cut nine. Okay, so, so now I will sew. So if you want to sew, this is the upper part. So you're just going to sew. It's the down part that you will sew. You attach the uh, this side especially if you are using um, stretching material you don't pull because by the time you start put, pulling it you just find out that um, what you measure you know what it is again okay so you don't pull Just have to trim this part very well. Then, if you are making this, maybe probably for your customer, it depends on the pay. You can tape it if you like. I'm not going to be taping this one. So now, I'm just going to be turning it. So let me turn. So now, the next thing we are doing is to punch. What you do to get your punch, you are going to make six holes. Six holes. What how you calculate this one now is this um. 12, you know this from here to here is 12. You divide by 7. Whatever number it gives you, you mark it on here. Like this one now is 12. When I did 12 divided by 7, I got 1.7. So I started marking 1.7. You can see, you can see all my marks here. So now I'll put my punch. I'm using a smaller punch actually. You can see I punched the two together. So that is how I will do the whole thing. Let me mark, let me punch the other one. So you can see I passed in my my rope. That's a string. So you get something like this. The next thing I will do is the is the tassel. So, I'll just do this. Roll it up. When this one is dry, I roll it up. So after that, you can see I pass in my long strap in this one that we created. This is the holder. Then I tie. Then if the owner is shorter, it's a little bit shorter because this size an adult can carry and the big person can carry. So an adult and um, small children too can carry. It. So you can see this is it. This is the tassel. So that's the end of this class. <laughs>